and he loved people. He wanted you to be number one. He wanted everybody to work hard. And he believed in hard work and dedication. And he always said no one could outwork him if he's given the opportunity to work. He didn't worry about the field, whether he had the right pads, whether the lights were on and all of that. Eddie Robinson wanted to prepare his teams to compete. And he went a step further than that. He wanted to get his team and a young man to compete in life. He wanted them to be true Americans. Wherever the, you know, in the Baptist church, they had the song about this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine. And that's what he believed in. He was somebody that was special. Eddie Robinson could walk among kings and queens still be Eddie Robson. He wanted to make sure that each individual, no matter his color, his creed, to be friends. He wanted to be friends. He taught that in his players. He taught that every day in his classroom. He taught all of us that. And I'm still trying to carry that torch that Eddie is talking about sat on his bed and I, we talked about the museum. If you haven't been to Grambling State University to see the Eddie Robinson Museum, shame on you. You need to see Eddie. As you walk in, cold cheers, walks through that door and the statue of this great American. Eddie never did block, he never did tackle. He always told people that. He said it was the young man a young man that blocked and tackled, made a way for him. As I close, Coach used to tell us how did myself as we traveled together. He said, we got to go all over the world to let everybody know about Grand. He said, a band got to play. Hutch, you got to get the band ready. We got to get the team ready. We got to entertain the people and let them know this is what it's all about as I lay and as I go into the museum, and as Doug mentioned, I started the museum. It was a tough task. But we wanted, I went to visit Air Bryant Museum several times to get ideas. Went to Oklahoma, New York, everywhere. And in 2010, we were able to do it. We prayed and asked God to do it before he passed away. But God has a plan. We were able to open the doors and thousands and thousands of people came to see the Eddie Robinson Museum ran open. It was snowing that day. Mm -hmm. But two birds, and I'll close on this. I'm like Coach, you give me a mic, I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I like to talk all day about it. This man, this man, man did so much for me. When I first met Eddie Robinson was through his wife. She taught at Lincoln High School. She taught me in high school. And she told us we didn't have, we played football, baseball, and basketball, and we didn't have money enough to have a speaker. She said, she went to the cafeteria and said, if you all get some beans and rice together, I have a speaker. And we were young, and well, when we heard this guy, we wanted to be like him. We wanted to be like him. Because he told us about the American and I leave today, go to Grambling State University, and now you're at the Louisiana Hall of Fame, and come to Grambling and see the Grambling Hall of Fame. Doug, good to see you. you